Here's a 25-year-old concrete item that a neighbor damaged while they were mowing the lawn. While the weather and age damage would be fairly easy for anyone to fix, this larger damage was thought to be beyond repair. This extremely heavy item sustained the damage and the fall to the ground primarily because it was not secured with silicone to make it a more stable piece. So we took the bag of broken parts and felt that this was a great opportunity to show that virtually anything is fixable. We'll start by seeing what large pieces are salvageable that we can glue back into place. For this application, we knew we could rely on the LePage PL Premium Construction Adhesive for a great bond. We strongly recommend using nitrile gloves when using any of these repair materials. Items like this will fit in place while it cures, while others may need some clamping or other devices to keep it in place while the glue dries. Care and patience is the key when trying to fit something like this together. Some of the smaller pieces may be more trouble than they're worth, and that's where our other materials come into play. There's lots of cement repair materials out there, but we find the DAP Ready Mixed Concrete Patch to be good quality and super convenient to use. Surface preparation will give us a good idea of what we're looking at in terms of repair of the weathering damage, but this material will also work to fill those large gaps. This material works best if it's applied in multiple thin coats with plenty of dry time in between. Now on our third application, we're starting to get a better idea of the shape that it's going to take and how much more is going to be required to fully fill all those gaps. To accommodate a final coat on some of the smoother areas, we're going to switch over to our epoxy putty by Odie, also known as the Fix-It Stick. This material makes it easy to shape and texture the smoother areas. You can then use your knife to cut out the excess and continue to texture. And a final sanding to prepare our surface for painting. We recommend the Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover because it's both a primer and a base coat. We're showing a different item here, but the paint steps are the same. We recommend two thin applications of the base coat, allowing proper dry time in between. Once that process is completed, we can move on to the more artistic step known as dry brushing. Spray a small amount of paint on a surface such as cardboard, Dip your brush into it with only a little bit of paint on the end bristles and continue around the piece to find that textured finish you're looking for. Silicone in place to prevent any future disasters, everyone's happy with the repair. <laughs>